What is the best ratio for making vermiculite concrete? <laughs> the best ratio for vermiculite concrete that I've found over the years is a ratio of four parts vermiculite to one part Portland cement. And that's what I've got in my hands here. This is a brick made from four parts vermiculite to one part Portland cement. And it's usefully strong. It's self-supporting. You could make like a planter box or some sort of ornamental concrete out of this, and it's not just going to break under its own weight. You know, it's a lot, a lot weaker than full strength, full weight concrete or mortar. I mean, that's the whole idea of a lightweight concrete. When you give up the weight, then you also give up the strength. So vermiculite concrete at four to one will produce something that's usefully strong while still being lightweight. It's going to be less than half the weight of a full strength concrete or mortar mix. So that's a significant amount, but it's going to be even more than that in terms of the weakness. It's, it's not a linear curve as it gets lighter a little bit. It gets way weaker, and that's very important to note when it comes to a lightweight concrete of any kind. So four to one will make a usefully strong mix. If you were to go down to less vermiculite, something like a two-part vermiculite to one-part Portland cement, yes, you are going to get a stronger product, but it's going to cost a lot more because of the high concentration of Portland cement, and it's going to weigh a lot more as well because that Portland cement is very dense. So it really comes down to your application. Lightweight concrete, it really always comes down to your specific application because there's not really a ton of applications that you use lightweight concrete for. Four to one, I think would be ideal for some sort of ornamental application. Let's say you're gonna make a rocket stove or some other thing like this, uh, or anything other than structural elements. Like I could stand on this, it's probably not gonna break, but if I made patio stones out of lightweight concrete, even at four to one, they're going to break over time for sure. That's not going to be satisfactory in terms of longevity. If you go six to one, eight to one, 10 to one or more, you're going to have a lot more bulk per given amount of Portland cement. But the vermiculite becomes so weak at that point, it, it literally just crumbles in your hand. Uh, I've done some other tests where I've made some six to one and eight to one. And as soon as I pull them out of the mold, if I apply any pressure, they just break. So it's not really usefully strong in my opinion. Four to one is probably the best mix to start with when you're experimenting with a vermiculite concrete. All right, Mary, are you ready to make some concrete? What? You're not. Your little raccoon huggy sticks aren't good enough for making concrete?